This is Angelina. I am your interlocutor for your IELTS English assessment. May I have your full name, please? My full name is Mariam Sajid. And what can I call you? You can call me Mariam. Could you spell your name? M A R Y A M. What do you do? I study. All right. Yes. I'm going to ask you some questions about summer. Are you ready? Yes. Is summer your favorite time of the year? Why or why not? Um, the early summer is my favorite time of the year as um, it's the time when uh, it's the season when you have a lot of fruits to eat and it's the time uh, when you can get out of your home uh, uh, because uh, the uh, previous season was the uh, spring and the uh, winter season, so I don't like that uh, cold uh, weather. So summer is my favorite because uh, we can go outside and uh, days are longer as compared to the winters. So summers, uh, summer is the time that I enjoy the most uh, out of the four seasons. All right. Yes. What do you do in summer when the weather's very hot and why? Um, when the weather is hot, I usually stay inside my house. Uh, it's the, usually uh, the noon time. So after that, when it's cool down, when it's night, uh, we usually spend our time in some parks uh, for a walk or we just go outside for a uh, refreshing drink like uh, usually in summer uh, you can drink a lot of fluids and a lot of summer drinks so uh, that i enjoy do you go on holiday every summer why or why not not every summer because in the past uh, two years it was the COVID time so uh, there was a lot of COVID bans when government was not allow uh, allowing uh, the tourists to uh, visit the tourist spots. So uh, before that we used to visit after two years I used to visit hill stations in the summers because uh, uh, to visit the hill stations the perfect time summer is the perfect time because uh, the temperature there is uh, it's appropriate for us as we belong from a uh, that uh, land area that is uh, hot humid so by going there you can have the feeling of uh, you know a good pleasant weather so with the greenery so I think uh, uh, visiting a hill station or uh, is is the common activity uh, I do for uh, not every year, but uh, for every two years. In summers. Did you enjoy the summer holidays when you were at school? Why or why not? Yeah, summer uh, I enjoyed a lot. My, uh, my summer holidays used to be very fun because it's the time when you get a, a three months off from your school because summers in Punjab are extremely hot. So uh, schools usually give a three month vacation to the students. So uh, at that time uh, it was a lot of fun because I used to visit my uh, grandmother home and uh, we used to do a lot of activities together as a family our extended family we used to plan trips picnics so that was a very fun time for us the summer vacation time all right this is the end of the interview section now let's begin with the cue card section okay you will see a question on the screen and you may have one minute to read the question. Okay. Once you've read it, you'll have to speak about the question for at least one to two minutes. OK. So I have a one minute, minute to, to read the question 
begins now. Okay. Please speak. Okay, so a luxury item that I would like to own in future is uh, Samsung S series latest model. I don't know uh, as they release uh, every year there is a new model. So I want to be specifically by the S series model. So um, uh, uh, this model is very specifically the latest model is nowadays S21 series. So the uh, the specific uh, thing that I like uh, uh, in this phone is its colors uh, that is very uh, light pink and peach color that is not available in other phones. Also its features is extremely uh, 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 is extremely advanced as compared to uh, the other brands and the other phones of Samsung series. So I would like uh, I would love to own this phone and uh, its camera uh, its camera specifications and its uh, RAM uh, storage capacity is also incredible. So uh, th uh, this is I think this is the item that I want to own in the future, but I don't know I would ever, uh, I would ever be able to buy this item. Um, but it is not at that as that expensive. Uh, it's like um, one and a half lakh in uh, PKR. So I think if uh, I am going to do some job in future, I would save money uh, and I would love to buy the phone. Hope so. All right. Well, thank you so much. This is the end of the cue card now. We shall begin with the discussion topics. Okay. I'm going to ask you some questions about expensive items. Are you ready? Yes. Which expensive items would many young people in your country like to buy? Uh, most uh, most of the time people like to buy uh, luxury phones like iPhone and the Samsung series and the most expensive phones from the other brands as well. Uh, uh, and uh, another thing that they would love to buy is the watches, the smart watches. Uh, it's a fashion. Um, also the technology thing, the things that are related to technology, they they like to and they love to invest in uh, in the technology sector. So these are the luxury items they like to collect. They uh, want to keep them in their ownership. So I think these are the items uh, they want to buy and they are buying nowadays. How do the expensive items that younger people want to buy differ from those that older people want to buy? Um, actually, uh, as I have mentioned in my uh, previous answer that younger people want to buy, uh, uh, want to invest and want to buy the things related to tech technology. Uh, as compared to older ones, the older ones are more invested in the art sector. They want to have the premium things that uh, that is related to culture, that is related to their ideology, and um, that is related to their, their times. So there is a vast uh, dif uh, differentiation between their choices. Uh, they differ a lot with the young generation as uh, they can't uh, they are having troubles understanding the technology thing even nowadays the 
person who is buying uh, who is earning a lot the older people they still have this very basic minimum uh, for basic their first brand of phone that they have bought uh, they have bought a uh, you know in their earlier stages so they are keeping their those technologies and they are not investing uh, uh, at the new technology so as compared to the young ones so i think uh, that that's the thing they differ the young generation and the older one as young generation wants to buy the technology thing and the older generation wants to, wants to um, invest among the premium uh, things like uh, they want to invest uh, in they want to own or buy a house a beautiful house they want to invest among among their uh, premium art collection or vice versa okay do you think that people are more likely to buy expensive items for their friends or for themselves i think people are more likely to buy uh, people usually love to buy expensive items for themselves as compared to their friends because uh, uh, you know selfishness always comes uh as compared to their friends uh, they want to invest in themselves because they want to uh feel good as uh i think you should uh prioritize yourself as uh, first as compared to others so your first invest uh, investment should be your own self so i think people like to buy uh, expensive items for themselves uh, themselves as compared to their friends all right yes let's talk about rich people are you ready yes how difficult is it to become very rich in today's world nowadays uh, it is extremely difficult to become rich uh, but it's I, i think it's 50 50 uh, if uh, if you are uh, doing business or if you are taking risk in life i think then you can succeed and it depends on your luck as well uh, but if you are not willing to take risk in your life and you want to play a safe game then i think it's extremely tough to become rich so it's a uh, it's on both sides it's 50 50 to become rich in in today's world mhm mm yes right do you agree that money does not necessarily bring happiness um yes sometimes i think money necessarily doesn't bring happiness but i don't agree that money can't buy happiness money can buy happiness because um everybody in nowadays they are uh, uh, running after after to meet their needs they are they want to have uh, things they want to own uh, luxury premium items for themselves and if they have extra vast money they they want to invest on their family so i think uh, with money they can buy a uh, few luxury items for them and which can bring happiness and smile on their faces so i think money can buy happiness this is not necessary that uh, uh, it's it's not that uh, money can't buy happiness money can buy happiness my last question to you is in what ways might rich people use their money to help society uh no i think rich people can use their money to help society in many ways first of all they can help them in education sector and in the health sector because these two sectors are are the uh these two sectors are most commonly ignored by the governments so they are the no, uh, the non profitable organizations like the rich people who owns these kind of organizations can help the uh, poor community by educating them that uh, their rights are important and uh, investing in the uh, health sector like providing some common medicines and some basic health necessities for the people who doesn't have the access 
towards these kind of facilities. So in these two ways, rich people can help poor people. All right, well, thank you. This is the end of the speaking test with you. Okay, thank you.